Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in a different place. I'm in Poland now, so the setting will be different from now on, but I hope you guys don't mind. Today, I have five fragrances that are perfect for spring that I wanna share with you. Five fragrances that when you smell them, you think of spring. Like that's the first thing that comes to your mind. When you smell these fragrances, your heart blooms. You see blooming trees everywhere, you see blooming flowers, you see green, you see happiness, you see sunshine, all the good stuff. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please continue to watch. Okay, you knew this was coming, okay? Let's face it, you know. This video cannot be without Miss Delina from Parfums de Marly. Guys, she is the epitome of spring. If I were to close my eyes and just think of one spring fragrance that will be in my collection for years and years to come, Delina. She is uplifting. She is sunny. She is sparkling. She is zesty. She is happy. She, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I've said it a million times, but she is the one that's gonna make you genuinely happy. Like when I wear Delina, I feel like a happy human being. And that's what spring reminds me of, you know, blooming trees, blooming hearts, blooming minds, blooming human beings. Like that's exactly who she is. The opening is quite challenging, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's for everybody. But once it dries down, it becomes this grounded, incense woody vanilla that's just go gorgeous i don't know if i like the opening more than the dry down but what i know for sure is that she is a beauty from the opening to the dry down so delina has the notes of lychee rhubarb bergamot nutmeg turkish rose peony musk petalia and vanilla and down the base we have kashmirin cedar incense and vetiver she is elegant classy yet playful i don't know how they did this with this fragrance because you know being playful and being classy and elegant doesn't really go hand in hand with delina for some reason it just ticks all the boxes i just cannot stress enough how much i love to wear delina in the springtime okay next we have another favorite of mine and you may suspect which one it is. It is Rouge Malachite from Armani Privé. Class and elegance in the bottle. One of the best fragrances for spring. I'm hardcore obsessed with Rouge Malachite. I think I will love this fragrance as much as I do now in like 50, 60 years if I'm still alive. It's like one of the most creamy, dreamy fragrances I can possibly think of. This is tuberose of my dreams, and I am a big tuberose lover. I love and appreciate tuberose in so many different forms, and I don't mind my tuberose to be a little bit more prominent in the fragrance, but this is done so perfectly right. If you just want to start with tuberose, you don't know where to start or which fragrance to experience first, I would highly, highly recommend Rouge Malakit because the tuberose here is stand out for spring. When I close my eyes, I just see the most beautiful garden full of tuberose, jasmine, just white florals in general. It opens up spicy and peppery because of pink pepper and clary sage. But then you have this warm tuberose accompanied by ylang ylang, there is jasmine, orange blossom, benzoin, cashmirin, and then it dries down to this most beautiful ambery tuberose. It's a tuberose explosion and I know you have to be fond of tuberose, but it's not gonna be your indolic, heady, very heavy, and overly mature tuberose scent. It is definitely on the more mature side. I mean, you cannot be childish wearing this fragrance. It's just not gonna vibe, okay? Something's gonna be off. This just hits different. This just hits different, guys. Really, truly. Moving on to the house of Tom Ford, we have Jasmine Rouge. 
the most realistic jasmine flowers that were literally just picked, extracted, and infused in this bottle. This screams spring. If you love jasmine, this is it. This is gonna be your fresh, crisp, like I said, very realistic jasmine scent with spicy, fresh, woodsy nuances. It's not endolic, it's not heavy, it's not mature, it's fresh, spicy with woodsy undertones. That's how I would summarize or explain how this fragrance smells. So here are the notes. Cinnamon, ginger, bergamot, cardamom, pepper, and mandarin orange at the top. Then we have ylang ylang, neroli, broom flower, clary sage, and in the base there's amber, woodsy notes, vanilla, leather, and French labdanum. It's super feminine, guys. It's very, very elegant smelling, very classy, smells very refined and sexy. This is one of those fragrances that smells insanely feminine and elegant, but sexy, sexy. I highly recommend this for spring because of that fresh and realistic smelling jasmine. Next up, we have a beautiful scent by the house of Maison Crivelli, and that is Liz Soloberg. I discovered this fragrance quite recently. I've been really loving fragrances from Maison Crivelli. I find that this house does a great job launching fragrances that smell very unique. They are very well thought out. Each and every single one of their fragrances has a story, has a concept, has a meaning, has an experience, has a vision. And I really do appreciate that because every time I smell their fragrances, I am very intrigued. There is something so transportive about their fragrances. It really truly does make you feel some type of way or it really does take you somewhere on an adventure. Liz Soloberg is one of those fragrances that are very hard to describe because I find it impossible to pick out individual notes. I rather have an image of what this fragrance smells like and I cannot stop myself from picturing a particular place. I see a beautiful forest in the spring, which is cold, a little humid, very clean, but then I see rays of sunshine peeking through the, the trees. And so I remember when I first smelled this fragrance, I was like, wow, this is really, really interesting. I mean, to be quite frank with you, I have the same exact kind of reaction with each and every single one of their fragrances because I find them to be extremely, extremely unique. But it's just the, you know, the matter of how it makes me feel or where it transports me. Here, it just conjures the image of a fresh forest and I just have a vision of a place. Maybe it's somewhat near fruit farm or fruit field, something along those lines. You know, I really love this fragrance because it's a fresh take on a fruity fragrance. It's not full-on fruity fragrance. It's not a full-on woodsy fragrance. It's a fresh fruity with woodsy undertones. Check out these notes, guys. When I read those notes, I was like, hold up. What the hell is this? Nothing really makes sense. But guys, you gotta trust me on this. These are the notes. Carrot seeds, quince, wine leaves, bergamot, dried fruits, lily, iris, ambroxan, mate, tobacco, cedar, smoke, oak, guyacwood, labdanum, oak moss, and patchouli. So last but certainly not least, we have one of my all-time favorite designer fragrances, and this one is from the house of Hermes. It's called Terra de Hermes. Did you guys know it's not a man's fragrance? I actually spoke to my sales associate from Hermes and she told me it's a unisex fragrance, so both men and women can wear it. And I myself love to wear this fragrance, especially in the springtime because it does remind me of a stroll around the park on a beautiful sunny day for some reason. So Terra Vermes has the notes of orange and grapefruit in the opening. In the middle we have pepper, pelargonium, and flint. And down the base there is beautiful vetiver, cedar, patchouli, and benzoin. This dry vetiver contrasting with the citruses in the opening, 
a game changer. It smells so timeless and classic and just, you cannot simply go wrong with it. You can easily dress it up, you can easily dress it down, you can wear it all year round, any time, anywhere, any occasion, any mood, a great, great fragrance. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram if you really want to become a bestie. Slide me your DM. If I'm not on YouTube, I'm definitely over there. Please let me know in the comment section down below what fragrances you recommend for spring. I definitely want to know. I can't wait to hear from you guys and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.